All right, what is going on, people of Earth? My name is Chili Dilly, back at you with another controversial topic today. And we have an interesting one today, probably a conversation that's had a lot in groups of stoners whenever they're really stoned talking about it. Or it's a conversation between old head smokers and new generation of smokers. And today I want to talk about carts versus flour. So let's just obviously go ahead and say that there is no winner between the two. It all comes down to personal taste, what's better for you, what you like more obviously, but I do just want to talk about it today, give some of my ideas, some of my key points as to why I think both are obviously better in their own ways. And you know we can do awesome videos like this if we didn't have an amazing sponsor. Shout out to Exhale Wellness. You guys know Exhale. I do a lot of videos with them. They are gold standard of Delta 8 hemp. HHC Delta 9, but their Delta 9 gummies with CBDs are great for beginners that don't really like to eat a lot So that way you can get a CBD intake so you don't freak the fuck out uh, from taking too many edibles or getting too high That is a really good counteractive to being really stoned. It's just taking some CBD So XL already takes care of that for you. If you want to use my discount code You can get I believe 20% off but carts versus flour. This is just some JK Distro flour. I do have regular flour as well. I think this is definitely an old argument. Definitely it brought up a lot more now because everything is just so much more accessible with hemp products. And I just wanna go ahead and tell you guys, my favorite, and it is flour, which you guys do know this, regular Delta 9 is always gonna be my favorite hemp variation. I just love the regular weed, honestly. But because I live in an illegal state, I never would choose to buy a cart just for the simple fact of it being black market and I just don't trust it, man. And even when I hit a cart with a hemp company, I have to make sure the testing is amazing and is good for that product. Yes, flour can be dangerous. There can be sprays on there like pesticides, poison shit, and I don't know, maybe just bad stuff. If it doesn't get flushed out properly, it can definitely hurt your lungs, hurt your body, even make you a little sick. But that rarely happens compared to carts that cause a lot more damage with metals and other chemicals going directly vaporized to the lungs. So that is definitely my favorite, but let's go ahead and talk about obviously why people love carts. They're very, very convenient, as we all know. You can take them anywhere, you can smoke them anywhere, you can literally just, it's the most incognito way to smoke nowadays. And it's also, oh God, it's also a very highly concentrated way of getting THC into your system. It has some of the highest, if done properly, especially with distillate, and honestly, it tastes good. Of course, with blinkers being around, you know, people love to take advantage of that and try to get as high as they can. Sorry, this camera angle is really bothering me. I really need to buy a new tripod, boys. And speaking of tripod and videos and all that, make sure you guys are coming to the YouTube live streams every Wednesday through Sunday, 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern time, so that would be 5.30 in California, I do believe. But we do have awesome discussions. We smoke, obviously have big smoke sessions, more smoking on there than usually even on videos sometimes. And we open packages and just do a lot of fun stuff, watch videos, and make sure you're subscribing because we're gonna get it to 100,000 this year and I want you guys to be a part of the journey. So obviously those are some of the positives. Just being convenient, which a lot of people, that's their biggest argument with smoking, especially smoking flour, is that it is inconvenient, it smells, but we'll get into that. So there are negatives to it though. That being, it can be very risky on your health if it is not proper. If it is a black market, you are really risking your health, and I do not recommend that at all. And taking blinkers can definitely lead to popping a lung, which definitely does happen because you're fucking your lungs up, and if you got even metals or some shit in it, it makes it even worse, and that's just terrible. And I swear, dude, I feel like this thing keeps teetering, but I can't tell, am I tripping? Not only can it be dangerous if it's black market, and sometimes not even black market carts, even regular medical carts can hurt you. And not only can you pop a lung, but also it is a higher charge in illegal states. It is a federal charge. It is very serious because it is just concentrate, which is like pretty much a factory level kind of thing. So they take that very serious. And when I say they, I mean the fuzz, the cops, the fucking popo. So you do got to watch out for that. So that is unfortunate. And I also find that hitting carts a lot definitely gives you a higher tolerance. And yeah, you get a tolerance to anything, but whenever you're smoking, you can do it in so many different ways. But with carts, you just start always hitting the same thing and your body builds a tolerance and then your brain also builds a tolerance as well from just doing the same thing, never changing it, doesn't make it any more fun. And honestly, there's no threat level to it other than the whole like cop situation. But other than that, like there's no threat level to it. So it's just like, you're either just gonna hit this and get really high as fuck or put metals in your lungs. Flour though. 
Flowers gotta be my favorite thing, and here's why. Here are the positives for why I think flower is a very good thing compared to carts, and that would be I love the whole ritual of breaking it down, smoking. I love that you are able to smoke it in many different ways. I love the smell, I love the taste. I just love the whole ritual of smoking. I love everything about it. Definitely brings a lot of people together. It's more fun to get in a circle and pass a joint than it is to hit carts. It's just, uh, it's usually cheaper too. Flour is usually cheaper than carts, so that is also a really, really good thing. And once again, you're able to smoke it in many different ways. Bongs, blunts, joints, anything, dude. You can smoke weed out of a lot of different things, and it just makes it a lot more fun. It makes it a lot more creative, which I think is a good thing because smoking makes you more creative. Not necessarily like, if you're an uncreative person, you're not just gonna like all of a sudden be creative. You have to work towards it, but like, I'm just saying, like it definitely opens up those ideas more. Dude, I got like that fucking, Gohan, ultimate Gohan strand going on right here, what the fuck? And flower to me is a lot of fun because you can roll a little bit or you can roll in as much as you want. If you have the correct rolling materials, you could roll a pound, two pounds, three pounds, and that would be a crazy joint. It'd be like world record joint, so not only are you breaking a world record down here, but you're also getting a whole town high. And this is both a positive and a negative, but I definitely do feel that whenever you're smoking in a place that you shouldn't, in a new place, or if you feel like you get a little nervous from smoking, I found that it can really, really amplify your high. Anytime that I travel a lot and I'm high and I'm around people that don't know I'm high and it's just like kind of, I don't know, it's just different. It makes me always feel a lot more high for some reason because I just think it's all new to me and my body is like, would usually not be nervous, but smoking sometimes can make you be like, oh wow, look at this, what about this, what are we doing, blah, blah, blah. But it's also a negative because one, you can also get in trouble doing that and two it can also make you kind of paranoid and a little scared so let's talk about the negatives then because obviously nothing is perfect in this world and like i just said you know obviously if you smoke somewhere that you shouldn't you run the risk of getting caught but once again though usually in most states if you just have a little bit of weed it's just a slap on the hand so it's kind of a positive but you still don't want to get in trouble or get caught at all the number one obvious big negative is that it smells and that it is very very easy to distinguish and it is very easy to get caught especially if you live with somebody if you live with parents live in a college dorm live in i don't fucking know dude just i'm just saying it's very easy to get caught you're gonna smell like it but that's the fun part about it to me is that you get to embrace that. like i was saying earlier people can actually put pesticides and poisons in there that can potentially hurt your body so definitely do be careful just whenever you know smoking uh you can definitely still get hurt don't think you'll never die from it or that it can't hurt your body because it can't and I mean, even just smoking in general still hurts and can lead to cancer. There's really not that many negatives when it comes to flour, in my opinion. Just three of, you're gonna smell like it, so that kind of sucks. Um, you don't wanna get caught and uh, just still watch out. Like, most part though, dude, like I feel like you could taste chemicals and shit if you were to do that with weed, but I don't think I've ever had weed that wasn't fucking K2 or Spice that you know, fucked me up or made me feel sick or anything. There were people hitting carts going to the hospital that same day. But anyway, that is my kind of like comparison list between the two. Like I said, my favorite's always gonna be just regular flour, Delta 9 regular flour. I love the ritual. I love that you can grow it. I love that you can do all kinds of shit with it. And you just can't really do much with carts. And honestly, I'm more about doing different stuff than doing the one, oops, one thing forever, so. Anyway though, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, guys. I hope you guys did like this kind of video. Let me know in the comments. Uh, let's get 150 likes on here. Go check out Exhale, um, run up the subs, come to the streams, show some love on Instagram, and bye.